A note about an unknown intruder coming through an alluvian. They turned spirits against us, then fled. A mage? They must have fought their way out, then let the spirits finish off the Canari. Two parties, then. The Canari and a mystery agent determined to stop them. One dead canary was bad enough. Now we have more, and they're hostile. This makes no sense. The canary may not be friendly to the Inquisition, but they have no reason to attack us. They also have no reason to be here, or using Illuvians at all. I've had the mirror placed under guard for now, Your Holiness. Colin, please just call me Liliana. Yes, Your uh, Liliana. It appears the relative peace and quiet of the last two years is coming to an end. First the Blight, then Mages and Templars, then Corypheus, and now this. Can't we go ten years without the world falling to pieces? We must ensure that the Gunari do not disrupt the negotiations. The Exalted Council is in a very delicate state. I'm certain you can soothe the nobles' ruffled feathers while we solve the real problem. Not when the Inquisitor insults everyone present by walking out in the middle of the talks. Our only advantage is that Orlais and Ferelden are divided in goal and grievance. If they unite against us, Divine Victoria will have no choice but to support their claims. We could lose everything. Could we use the Canari threat to remind everyone how valuable the Inquisition still is? Not until we know more. <sighs> it will be fine. I will attend to the Exalted Council. And while Josie does that, we will investigate. We? Your Holiness? <sighs> you do, Josie? I'll head back to the crossroads. We need to find out what the Canari are doing, and why they attacked. And I'll have a quiet word with our honor guard.